uncleanliness. Hallelujah. Uncleanliness, masturbation, doing all kinds of things. These are, you will take over if you give him chance because he's your member. Hallelujah. If you give addiction a chance, it will take over you. People are addicted of so many things. Some alcohol, some drugs, some all kind of things. Some, their phone is addiction. Online, they can't do without it. Hallelujah. Addiction. Addiction. You rather get addicted with your scriptures and fasting and prayer. That's, that's what the, the Bible says. Seek the things above. Seek the things above. When something is trying to drown you, who do you look for? Seek the things above. What are the things? What are those things above? Above us, the Holy Spirit is over you. God the Father, Christ in you, the hope of glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm taking time to explain this so that when we begin to pray, you will understand that this, these things is not something that you just kneel down and pray and say, oh, fornication, I bind you. No. It's your member. It's like when somebody is hungry, you're fasting for 40 days. One day you're going to want to eat. But how do you handle the hunger, the, the, the passion now to go eat? Do you eat anything? Any kind of thing? I want you to understand it so that you don't think it's something that is coming outside your body. Maybe the devil is attacking you with fornication. No, it's your member. But you need to put you, you yourself, you yourself need to put it to death. God is not coming to put it to death for you. You yourself, just like God provides the food, then you eat the food. You go and take the food and put it in your mouth with your hand. God cannot come and push the food inside your mouth. Now it is your turn to put it to death. The same thing with uncleanliness. The same thing with passion. The same goes with evil desire. You know when you begin to desire evil. When it start encroaching your door. When it start knocking at your door. Hallelujah. Bring it under subjection to the obedience of Christ. If that thing has nothing to do with Christ, kick him out. Kick them out. Dissolve it. If that thing has nothing to do with Christ, according to the scripture. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Put them to death. Because you will not be different from the children of disobedience if you are doing the same thing. The Bible says, because of these things, the wrath of God is coming upon the sons of disobedience. If you do not put fornication, if you do not put uncleanness to death, passion, evil desire, covetousness, covetousness, which is idolatry. Covetousness is an idol. You see something, you want it to become yours. You see somebody, you want that person to become yours. You see, you see somebody driving a car, you want it to be yours. In fact, you become angry. Why should you be driving a car like that and I'm not driving it? It's very simple. Covetousness. The Bible says it's an idolatry. God does not like it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's very simple. It's very simple. But now, you yourself 
are to put off all this. Put it off. Why are we putting it off? Because we are wearing it. It was like a garment, a cloth. You know, when you put on your T-shirt, your jean, your shoe and everything, this is what you had on. You had on anger. Anger does not come from space. Anger does not come from hell. You, in fact, you were born with it. Hallelujah. You know, one time I was watching a child. This child, the mother, this is a child of, that child is not more than a week. A week old, seven days old. The mother supposed to give that child a breast milk. But it was doing something and the child was crying. Immediately the, the mother came. For the baby to show that he was angry, that child bites the, 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 the mother on the breast. Bite it. Anger. Nobody should, nobody taught him you need to be angry or go to a school of anger. You see how you're going to be angry? Anytime somebody do this to you, then you, you, you frown your face or you do this. He came with it. Seven days old child, nobody sat down to teach this child. When your mother delay in giving you food, get angry and bite her. Nobody taught her. Hallelujah. He came with it. What am I trying to say? That your anger came with you, wrought malice. Of course, when somebody gets you angry, you will tell the person you have the right to be angry. Not only angry, but you malice the person. You stay away. You don't want to see the person, nor anybody that resembles like him. Hallelujah. Blasphemy. Filthy language. Out of your mouth. Some people cannot do without filthy language. They drink it like water. They talk about it. That is... After every two words, filthy language must come out. This is their lifestyle. Hallelujah. The Bible says you must put it off. Because these are the things that brings weightier things on you. It, could, it can never allow you to see the kingdom of God. It can, never, it can never allow you to live like a man... Who has been raised with Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. He can never allow you to have the, the symbols, the signs, the original certificate of being raised with Christ. Which is the power that defeated death. The power for you not to be afraid anymore. The power to live with Christ and his glory. Hallelujah. These are the things that will weigh you down. The Bible says, put it off. There are ones to put to death and there are ones to put off. Hallelujah. The ones I mentioned in this last time is something that you need to put off. And that is rot, and that is malice, and that is blasphemy, and that is filthy language. Stop calling people names. Don't call people, uh, don't stop the filthy language. Some of us speak the language that I cannot even say it. It is wrong. It will not allow you to attain to that spiritual height. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We're going to pray. We're going to pray. I want you to ask God, help me. We're going to ask God to help us take it off. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Take off every anger. Open your mouth. Every anger must be taken off today. Open your mouth. Anger. You know, sometimes you're running away from your training. Sometimes God will purposely put a woman around you, probably a friend, a lady, a man, whoever, that will be making you angry. Everything he does is you get angry until you kill that anger. Until you begin to discover that anger is a sign of pride. 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 Most anger goes with pride. How dare you? Hallelujah. Who are you? How dare you do that to me? Me of all people. Me that is six feet tall and seven foot three. So pretty and nice. How can you do that? You know me. Why dare you? Look at her. Look at him. Look at this man. Look at. It's a sign of anger. A uh, 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 pride. Pride. Who are you? Until you begin to realize that you are just breath. Ordinary breath. If that breath ceases today, you become a plank of wood. Nothing. Nothing. In fact, nobody will want to stay with you after three days. If Bread goes and people put you down and say, you know what? I love you so much. I'm going to be here. I will never go anywhere. Three days, the whole street will start running away from you. Breath. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I wanted to ask God. Say, Lord, take away this anger. Take it out. Help me put it off right now. Put off every rot. Put off every malice. In the name of Jesus Christ, put off every blasphemy. Put off every filthy language out of my mouth. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, let this filthy language be taken away from me. My colobretebos, rebobos, letorobobos. Whether I am joking or playing or angry, let filthy mouth, filthy words be taken away from me. Father, I put it off today. I put it off today. I put off every filthy language. I put off every anger. I put off every rod in the name of Jesus Christ. I sincerely put it off today. I put off every lie. We are Goboboska. Brane Malito Robos. Brate Leke to Lubada. Libre get the libo bobo bobos. Libre get the libre get the libo bobos. Rakuma skinde basula batai. Zeke ma onko fenebo saita. Jerry ma mamo skinde libo bobos. Yes, Lord. We put off the anger. We put it off now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I put it off, Lord. I put it off, Lord. I put it off every evil desire. Yes, Lord. I destroy it. I destroy, open your mouth. I slaughter every evil desire. I destroy it by fire, by fire, by fire. I destroy fornication by fire, by fire. I destroy uncleanliness by fire, by fire. Every passion, I destroy you. Rapoto kolo brekete, jemali proto veli bobos, le bregede li bregodo li bregede libo. Rabba bande libo konto brivato maskia zashe konto bale kabania. Yes, Lord. Everywhere I go, I must, I must represent Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! From this day, I set my eyes on the things above. The Holy Spirit will lead me. The Holy Spirit will direct me. The Holy Spirit will lead my passion in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth. Yes, let the Holy Spirit lead my passion this morning. Let the Holy Spirit lead my direction. Let the Holy Spirit take over. Let God be in charge of me in the name of Jesus Christ. Ona kiradus, ona kiradus, wunde balakabos, ferumas keaba, in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. We worship you. 
in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Lift up your hands wherever you are and begin to wave your hand. Say, Lord, I thank you. I Lord, I thank you. Lord, I give you glory for what you are doing this morning. Lord, I give you glory. Madi Faranduya, Zande Libabo Koserebos, Le Pantarabo Kosenda, Zakama Tekukubusika, Zebrege de Libogodobo, Zebrege de Libogodolobogoda, Zebrege de Libogodolobogoda, Zebrege de Libogodolobogoda, Zebrege de Libogodolibogoda, Zebrege de Libogodolibogoda, Zebrege de Libogodolibogoda, Zami Vantorobo Kosemba Talegabo, Rema Mayende Lebabos, Vande Barumos Kimbrene Ketolaba, Zang Shinda Kurumos Kimbe Fatunagai. Yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want you to raise your hand wherever you are. I'm going to pray for you right now. Mighty God, I pray for protection upon this, your children, mighty God. I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ as you're driving back from work, as you're going to work this morning, I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover your house with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover your children with the blood of Jesus Christ. No evil shall come near your tent. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cover you. I cover you. No accident, no gunshot, no gunman, no gunwoman, no stealing. No thieves shall break into your house, nor break into your car. In the name of Jesus Christ, no harassment from the devil. I cover you. I cover your children. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ. 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 Of Jesus Christ. No poison shall touch you. In Jesus' mighty name. Mighty God, I pray also for healing. Upon everyone that is sick, under the sound of my voice right now, let the healing power of God flow from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, setting you free and healing you completely right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed, be healed, be healed. In Jesus' name we pray. Mighty God, I thank you. I give you glory for what you're doing. Be thou exalted, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you.